Hi, this is Helen Drew and today I'm going to show you how to draw a basic tree. Now, trees are all different shapes and sizes and this one is just a general tree that you can put in any of your landscapes. So we're going to start out by having the general size of it and I'm sketching this out and this is sketch paper. So I'm going to draw on it quite dark so you can actually see what I'm drawing. So this is going to be the size of your tree here. Then the first thing we do is to split up this size into five equal parts. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And your trunk is going to go in the bottom fifth of your drawing. So generally when people draw trees, they'll draw the trunk first and then they'll draw this little bit like this, uh, lollipop trees. So you can see in this instance your trunk is only twice, is only half the amount of your tree. And if you look at trees, the trunk is much smaller. So the next thing we do is on line two, we draw two circles like that very roughly because we're going to rub them out anyway. And then on the top here we draw another circle like this. So you've got your three circles and you've left room to put your trunk down in the bottom. And all you need to do is to draw your branches out to the edges of these circles. Make sure you do a branch going to each one. You can do some dividing, you can divide your trunk there, make sure this one goes right up to the top. Then not have to worry about it too much. And then what we do is we erase your three circles. like that and then all you need to do is to add a few extra little bits in where you've got the gaps where the circles joined try not to make it too regular and then with your pencil you mark where you want the bird holes to be it's very important with trees to have some gaps so the birds can fly through so you choose a fairly interesting part i've got that part there that's quite interesting and maybe i'll have another part up there don't draw your bird holes so they're all the same size and really stick with three maximum then you take your pencil and you put in your foliage leaving your bird holes and you put in your trunk and you go over your branches so you've got some interesting branches through here through your bird holes And there you are, there's your tree. Hello again. So this is the second part of this uh, video series, how to draw a basic tree. And this one is the tree we've just drawn. And so what I'm now going to do is to transfer that onto watercolor paper. So I'll just move that aside for one moment. And here is the tree I've drawn out using the same principle with the circles and the trunk, which should be about a fifth of your total tree size. And I've put it onto watercolor paper. Now I'm using um, Arsh, uh, 300 grams, and I'm using Rough. And the colors I've chosen for this composition are uh, lemon yellow because I want to paint a sort of spring early summer scene and the leaves have got more yellow in them they're lighter color than they are later on in the summer I'm using some cobalt blue I'm using some alizarin uh, crimson 
and uh, I might cheat a little bit and put in some sap green but you can make perfectly good green with your the cobalt blue and the lemon yellow but for speed today I might put in some and to make everything a darker tone I've put in some neutral tint so those are the five colors I use I always use a yellow a blue and a red I like it, it gives a, a balance of colours in your composition. I never use more than five colours. Uh, you can make uh, all the colours you need with very few colours. And the good thing about using a few colours is it gives your composition um, an all-over harmonious effect. If you're using a lot of different colours, you don't have the harmony in your composition. Okay, so I've got a, a big brush that I'm using and as you can see from what I've done so far I've drawn out the tree and in the composition it's not in the middle of your composition so it should be on one side or other of your composition it's going to be the focal point and just to save time today I've put in a very pale sky and I've put in some background here that just means uh, it's obviously better to do your background before you start the tree rather than trying to get it in afterwards. So, um, so um, I've drawn in the bird holes and we're going to start with doing a mixture of, so you're a fairly light colour, perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my brush sideways on. So can you see how I'm using the brush to get these nice effects? So I'm using the brush like this, I'm not using the point of the brush. It's, as I say, spring, early summer, so there's not a lot of foliage on the tree, and so cover the whole shape with that. You could also note that I have left some bird holes there. Okay, so you can, while well, we've got that going, we might just add a bit more dark. Think about which way your light is coming from. So my light is coming from this way, so my darks are going to be on this side of the painting. So just stroke the brush onto the paper. So while that's drying, I'm going to add in uh, the trunk. Now, I've got the red and I've got the green and the red and the green together make an absolute fantastic brown. So do not go and choose another brown at this stage because we've got the red here in this area and we've got the green in the foliage and so the red and the green are going to be great. So the red and the green are going to be that colour. So that's going to work really well. And still with my big brush, I'm going to put in the trunk. Okay. And then a little bit lighter on this side because that's where the, the um, light is coming from. Now when you put in your when you put in your branches okay you've got your trunk do not do that it's always better if you can do so there uh, they're not going off at the same angle. Even better would be something like that. Okay, so definitely not that one. Good, so it's drying off. And if I want it to dry off a bit before I put the next... Um, level on, so I'm going to paint a little bit of the foreground. 
Again, using the brush on its side. So you get lots of nice texture in there. A little bit of brown, there's a little path here. Test the colour to green. To red. So you can see the composition is coming on well. A little bit of blue here. And turn it upside down. I want some trees here. So clean water and your paper is now dry. And then I want a really quite a dark green. And if you put it on here, it will run into the wet part. You see how easy it is to make those nice bushes there. Keep an eye on it so it's not doing anything you don't expect it to do. And then turn your board up. some shadow underneath the tree. Always plant your trees so the light's coming from this side so plant the tree so there's some shadow in here. So I'm going to have a little break now while it dries. So what we've, uh, we've dried off the um, painting now so I'm going to add some dark to this trunk down here and I'm going to start painting some of the branches up through the bird holes so resist the temptation to draw the line straight up so you're painting in small sections what you don't want to do is one sweeping line As you go up, paint the interesting bits here and then change to a rigger. So this brush is very, very fine but it has very long bristles. And when we paint the... So hold it, don't hold it too far down the edge and then as you paint, turn it so you get a nice wobbly. Thank you Mr. Crow. Part of my video. Turn it. Can you see I'm turning the, the brush as I go up. So you get these nice wobbly lines. Also using slightly different colours. Don't make, sh make sure they're not all the same colour. Let's put a bit of blue in there. When, they get, when you get to the edge, make sure that it's really fine on the edge. So the principle of the tree, the tree is the wide, the trunk is the widest, and the branches then get narrower and narrower and narrower. This sounds obvious, of course, until you get to the final twigs on the end. 
and then you can just let your paintbrush play around on the end. Plant your tree. I know I've seen so many paintings where the trees, uh, the tr tree just stops. And let's have some bits of foliage there. Make sure your tree gets planted. Okay, then we're going to just let those dry. So at this stage, you you want to add a few more darks to your tree because your branches are too dominant. The colour's too dominant now. So we're going to add some. Actually, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on these bushes over here. And I want quite a dark colour here. And then with my rigger. Don't forget to add in those darks. Your painting should have five different tones. So we've got the white area here, and then we've got this is tone two, tone three, so at least five tones. And um, when you see um, watercolour paintings and they look wishy washy, they're missing tone five. And then. this with a sponge. So here I have a sponge. Dip it in your colour and put the colour. When you're using a sponge, don't go wild. The temptation with a sponge is to go dab, 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 dab all the way over. So just keep it in one area. Don't do the whole thing. The, the thing to do is to, to achieve different brush strokes and different looks rather than the same one. So you can see here I've got one that's more or less solid in colour. Here I've got a bit of brushwork and here I've got the sponge work. Let's put a bit of sponge on. Okay, then the last thing I'm going to do on this composition is to put in a little thing sort of here. Don't paint it, paint it too much. Okay, and then Okay, well, at least that. Let's put another branch in here. Good, so then, what you do, you, you could have some splatter work on this area here. You could perhaps revisit the background a little bit, but basically, that's how you draw your basic tree. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to send me any paintings you've done, I will give you a quick critique on them and happy painting.